Hey, it's Jamie J, the Classy Cheapskate, and today we are going to make the most fabulous money lay ever. This lay is going to have candy and butterflies, and every girl would love it, and any guy would love it that loves butterflies and candy. So to get started, you're going to need candy. I got these awesome Lint Lindor truffles for just a dollar a bag at a closeout zone and they're still in code. When I went to CVS, I bought these. It was buy one, get one 50% off and they don't even have as much weight. These are 5.1 ounces and this is 8.5 ounces. You're getting a lot more in this one. I can tell just the weight of it. And the color is just what I wanted. They're teal. Okay, so these were like five something a bag. And at Target, they were on sale for $4 a bag. Um, but I used st uh, store credit that I had. Like it wasn't store credit, it was uh, rewards. So I only paid like $3 for both of these. But I wish I hadn't because I got that for a buck the next day. So then to make a money lay, you're going to need some money. I got a pile of $1 bills. Um, I went to the bank and got some new ones. Usually I just use ones from circulation, but these are brand new. These were last made in 2013. If you want to find candy on sale or at a good price, check out the dollar stores. They have really good deals on candy sometimes, like a dollar a bag. So you might be able to find some good stuff there. You will also need scissors, wire, and cutters colorful ribbon of your choice. You can pick school colors or you can just get fancy and fun. Then you can use saran wrap to wrap your candy or you can use pretty bags from the grocery store. That's what I'm using because I'm too cheap to buy saran wrap that's colored. And then I like to get super fancy. I like to step it up. That's right. I like to get fancy so I use beads as well these are just cheap blue beads and i didn't even like them uh when i first got them i got them in a goodie box so they just came along with some other things that i liked but i'm glad i kept these because actually i like them now because they're going to go with this project okay with all that said let's get started just get yourself a dollar bill and fold it in half fold it again Fold it again. And fold it one more time. You're just going to be doing this so that you can see where to do an accordion fold with it. So now you have little lines all through your bill. Now you have to do an accordion fold. So you're gonna go back and forth on these lines. Back and forth till you get to the end. This bill is going to end up being the bottom part of a butterfly. So the two bottom wings. See how I'm going back and forth? Now you're gonna take this accordion folded bill and you're going to press it back together and fold it in half. These are the bottom wings. Now this bill, you're going to fold in the two ends, about a half inch, it's no big deal. Now take the bill and you're going to want to fold it in half. This is so that you can have a center line to work with. So you're going to look at that center line that you just created and you're going to take the corners of the bill and you're going to fold them in every single corner to create a triangle. All right, now you take the top and bottom and you're going to fold them down just a little bit, maybe a quarter inch. Just do a little bit. You don't want to do a lot. This part's important. 
Now you're going to do an accordion fold back and forth the whole way down, just like before. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now you're taking this section and you're going to fold it in half again to make the top wings of the butterfly. Get yourself some wire and cut it to about five or six inches. Now you're going to wrap this around that butterfly to secure it. Twist it a couple of times. These are going to be the antennas. And they're also going to help to secure it onto the lay in the end. So now just get yourself a blue bead. Well, you can use any type of bead you want. Stick it down over the antennas. Get yourself some candy, because we're getting ready for the fun part. Cut all of the images off of your bag, but leave the handles. Cut it down the center, stick your candy in. Now you're gonna tie some ribbons around to hold the candy in place. Repeat this. I used five pieces of candy on each side of the lay, so ten pieces of candy total. Then I just kept tying off the ribbons. You can cut them about six inches long. To secure your butterflies, you're going to want to just stick the antennas through the bag. Then give them a twist or two. And I put five butterflies on this lay. I just skipped every other candy. So the lay comes out to be about four foot six inches long. You're going to want to cut a piece of ribbon about two feet long, maybe three feet. It depends on what you desire. Just tie them right onto the bag handles and then burn the ends to make sure they don't fray. I'm just adding a little more ribbons for pizzazz. Okay, let's see what this looks like when it's put on. Very nice. That'll look good with a gown, a graduation gown. And then if the girl has long hair, it won't cover at all. This is about four foot six inches long. If anybody wants to shorten it, they can just tie it up. But it's better to have long ones with a gown. It just looks better. Everybody likes theirs to be four foot or longer from what I've seen. Here's a better view. And you can use any color bag you want and any kind of candy. You can make this whole lay for $11. $10 for the bills, because you need 10 bills. And then $1 for the candy if you get it on sale. And then you can just use household supplies for the rest. And that's it. That's how you make a money lay the classy cheapskate way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like below. Bye.